Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do Wireshark, the basics, learn how, learn the basics of Wireshark, how to analyze protocols and PCAPs. So it's part of the CompTIA Pen Test Plus path. Hope you guys liked the last vi video, Memento Spoil introduction. Uh, so far, we already did the introduction to cybersecurity, pre-security, and web fundamentals. Now we're doing the CompTIA TII Pen Test plus the learning path, all the easy paths. So let's get right into it. So the task one, introduction, just letting you, letting you guys, I'm um, showing you guys how to answer the questions. Uh, I recommend to read through all the tasks so you get a full understanding of what it's all about. So, all right, task one, introduction, or start the, the attack box virtual machine. Uh, answer your questions below, which file is used to simulate the screenshots. As you read, there's two files. One is the HTTP1.pcap.ng. So copy, paste. And the second one says which file is used to answer the questions. And it says exercise pcap. And G. So, all right, let me uh, load this wire chart right here. All right, so task tool, tool overview. Okay, it talks about wire chart. It's the most potent traffic analyzer tool available in multi purposes to detect and troubleshoot, detect security, investigate and learning protocols. All right. So you follow along, there's a screenshot. Just talks about the toolbar, display filter, recent files, capture filter, and available sniffing interfaces. And it says loading the PCAP files. And it will tell you the file name, the packet list, the packet details, the file name, total number of packets, and display packets. Talks about the coloring packets. You go view, coloring rules. You customize it. And the sharp button. And it will display the packets. It talks about merging the PCAP files. Can't really see. It's basically probably uh, merging two files at once. And then view file details. It just talks about statistic. We're going to use this a lot. So, all right, let's get to the answer. It says use exercise PCAP and G file to answer a question. So let's note this. Open exercise. Okay, let's uh, make it full screen to make it look better. All right, let's try again. Open, there you go. And so let's read the capture file comments, what is the flag? So if you go back to let's see, there's the comment section. Okay, right here, statistic capture file properties. So statistics capture file properties, and it says read the file comments. What is the flag? So it's right here. You scroll down, and that's the answer. Try out me or short demo. Next question was the total number of packets. And on the bottom right is 58,620, so 58,620. And the last question is, what's the SHA-256 hash file of the capture file? H-264 
and file details can help. So again, statistic capture file properties. And it says hash 256 starts with the F. So copy, paste. All right, let's go task three, pack dissertation. All right, it talks about pack dissertation. There's a link that you can, in GitHub, talks more about our shirt. Talk about packet details. So the frames. So the details, and then there's the bytes. All right. So we can close this out. So frame one, it's number one. All right, so source two, source, Mac layer two is the ethernet. And layer three, the IP is the internet protocol. Layer four is the transmission control. And protocol errors is within. Do you have any errors to resemble? So, looks like this one doesn't have any, but there's a screenshot example. Then layer five, application protocol. So this will be in the hypertext. Something like that. Then application data. So answer your questions below. Use the exercise.pcatng file to answer the questions. View packet number 38, which markup language is used under the HTTP proto call. And packet numbers are shown in the left column of the packet list plane. So it's talking about this. So it's number 38. All right. What is the markup language in the HTTP protocol? So you click there. It is I believe is the extendable densible markup language. What is the arrival date of the packet? Answer format month slash date slash year. Hint, the packet details plain flooring and frame section can help. So it's the frame. Let's see. Right here, arrival time, May 13, 2004. So, slash 13, 2004. Next question, what is the TTL value? The packet details playing the IP protocol section get help. Always remember to hit the hint, uh, hint box, guys, it helps a lot. So frame, internet, protocol. So TTL, I believe is time to live 47. All right. Next question was the TCB payload size. Hint the packet details plain protocol section can help. All right, protocol section can help. TCP, maybe it's four two four. Payload right here, 424 points. And what is the E tag value? All right, let's look at where's the E tag. It's not here. 
Let's go back to the internet protocol. Nope. Let's go to the frame. Does it have it? Nope. Ethernet. All right. Let's try again. All right, transmission, flag, maybe it's in the hyper transfer, e tag, right here under the HTTP. So I'm just going to right click, copy value. So paste. There you go, guys. All right, task four packet navigation. Okay, so it talks about packet numbers, the left column, the go to packet, the go, so like go one, two. Talk about finding packets, edit, find, strange download. Talk about mark packets, edit, there's the mark section, mark, unmark. And then packet comments. All right. Then you can export file, export specific, export objects, and view. What's this time display format? So you change format at view. All right. So this default to the UTC. Talk about expert info. All right, and this one, just more information, expert information, analyze. So the questions, let's answer questions below. Search raw string and packet details. What is the name of the first artist? Okay, let's go over here. Let's, uh, let's find, let's analyze. I believe it was flying packet. Once again, okay, so R W fine. Okay, so there's artist one, artist one, and I believe it's raw eight one seven three. So raw. Eight one seven three, and it says go to packet twelve and read the comments. Where is the answer? Hint: right click packet comment menu to view the comments. If the comments too long, it's long, you can scroll down and follow the rest of the paragraph. Remember, you can use the statistic capture profile properties to view the available comments. So let's go to packet twelve, right? So you can say go packet twelve. Read the comments, right click, packet comment. This is not the flag, so scroll down. All right. It says go to packet 39765. Let's copy this. Look at the packet details plain, right click on the JPEG section and export packet bytes. This is an alternative way to, of extracting data from capture file was the md5 hash value extracted image okay again let's go to packet all right so it talks about jpeg right right here let's right click and it says show or export well, let's see what show okay Let's export. I'm going to put, uh, what's it again? Yeah. All right. Let's, so MD5, right? Let's see. Let's change desktop. Okay. So we're going to MD5. 
quit sum. Quit sum. Three nine seven six five. Yep, this is how you crack it. So. It says there is a dot text file inside a capture file. Find a file and read it. What is the alien's name? Okay, let's go wire shard in. All right, let's go to find packet and it says dot txt. Fine. All right. Show packets. What is the alien's name? Let's see, can I export this? Oh, alien. Let's see. Find a file and read it. What is the alien's name? this one no Packet, find packet, okay. Go to packet. Analyze. All right, let me see if I can analyze this. Let's copy this. Copy value. See, there's another one. Let's see, packet master. Hold on, let's see. Packet ms.
and a thing. Text plain as day. Yeah, I'm trying this again. So. Alright, cat. Packet. Sounds like master. I don't know. Let's see. Packet master. Oh, I guess it is. All right. And it says, look at the expert info sessions. What is the number of warnings? Look at the expert info. Let's see, analyze, okay, got it. Let's go analyze expert. And let's see how many, what's the number of warnings? One, six, three, six. All right, guys, that was a trick, a little bit tricky, but that was fun. Task five, packet filtering. Talk about packet filtering. Let's see. There, there's a golden rule, analysts who don't want to write queries for basic tasks. You can click it, you can filter and copy it. Apply as filter. So number one, the destination, apply as filter. What's this? Conversion filter, TCP, interesting. You could colorize conversion. Probably can't see it, but um, it's basically right click colorize version and you can change whatever color. Prepare as filter. To select, okay. Apply as column. You can filter column and follow stream, follow TCP stream, okay. Okay, let's see. Answer questions below. Go to packet number four, right click on the hyper transfer protocol, apply it as a filter. Now look at the filter plane. What is the filter query? All right, it says go. All right, go to number four. And let's see. All right, let's see. Right click and apply some as filter. Now look at the filter plane. What is the filter query? I believe it's talking about this. Because applies filter. Yeah. Display. So So the number would be one zero one thousand eighty nine one zero eighty nine or not. Let's see, Paul. Oh, 
that's interesting. Let's see. There's no one eighty nine. One zero nine. Eight eight. Mm, that's interesting. Apply as filter. Try this again. Hmm. <laughs> Packets, right click. That's why I did. Let's try the number of display packets. Oops. Oh, wait. 1089. Duh. What is the filter query? Oh wait, HTTP. That was done, yeah. Let's talk about this. So go to packet 3379. And follow the stream, what is the total number of artists? Okay, so go to packet 3379. Let's just follow, follow the stream. So, analyze, follow, okay, total artists. It looks like six. Let's see. Nope. OK. 
Okay, let's see. Let's try TCP. Hold on, close. So again, analyze, follow TCP stream. Apply filter. Okay, let's uh, analyze. Follow each stream. Once you follow the stream, I'm going to create apply. Okay, let's see. What's the total number of artists? Okay, let's see. Stream. Name the second artist. It's right here. And that's it, guys. Task six conclusion. Just finished Wireshark basic and proceed to the next room and we'll keep learning. That's it, guys. Once you finish, you can share Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I already shared on my LinkedIn. Uh, Hope you like this video, guys. Give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and uh, comment on my videos. Let me know how to improve these. Um, I hope it's helping you to complete all these rooms, the learning path. And the next one is going to be, I believe it's Hydra, so you guys burp sweep the basics. I believe it was in Web Fundamentals. I'm just gonna reset this. And as you know, guys, right now I'm transitioning to IT field. Uh, currently, I am CompTI certified because because my current work recognizes the certification. I did a video on how I passed the A plus, the pen test plus, and the security plus. Probably in the future, I'll do one in uh, the CYSA plus. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.